Beats Went Around the Yedra. I'm here to show my teacher created material, which is this Jenga math block towers with the block with the cube. So the test guy used for this one, I chose for this one, was 11A in the 7th grade math, which is model and solve one variable, two step equations, and inequalities. So in my objective for this, like my instructional objective for this, is that you for them for students to have fun while doing math because like usually students don't like math at all like they say it's hard it's challenging and they just give up and don't try at all so like that's my objective so like a game while well, I'm mixing a game and a math like hopefully for them that will make math funner so they can actually learn and participate in class and how I came up with this with the Jenga block tower is that uh, I've always been a math nerd since I was a little kid. I always loved doing math and anything that I had to do with math, I wanted to do it. And also Jingo was my game. I always loved playing Jingo with my family and friends. So I was like, why not mix both and make something uh, even better? So I did, and this is what I came out with, my beautiful Jingo tower. So let me just show you a quick demonstration on how we play this Jenga. So, as any of the world, with this version, we have a cube, so we throw it. And as you can see, I got a blue. So I would go over here and look for a blue. Well, let's see, is there any blue? Okay, yeah, there's a blue here. And I got this equation, V plus 9 divided by 3 equals 8. So what I would do is I would grab my notebook, as you see I have it here, I would grab my notebook and I would write down the equation and solve it. And once I am finished solving it, I put it over here and I'm done with my turn. So now it will be the next person's turn. So now my hand demonstrator is going to show you. As you can see, this person got a yellow. So they would get the yellow one. As you can see, this one has no math problem in it. This means like there's six blocks in the entire game that have nothing. So like it's just a lucky one. You don't have to do any math and you just keep playing. So once the game is over, which once the tower falls down, like that's basically the game over, the students will grab the notebook with the work on it and will go show it to the teacher and the teacher will give them the enter key. With the enter key, the student can check which ones they got right and which ones they got wrong so they can correct them and be better at solving inequalities and equations so that's basically in my demonstration for this so the educational significance of my material the Jenga math tower I made is that to make math funner for the kids that don't like math and for the kids that do like math they have like an extra way of doing math so like everybody takes has an adventure on this and also it's not only about math because all we all know that Jenga is a strategy game because like we might see over here we if we take one out we have to make sure that all like that piece if we take it out it won't fall so this makes our brain think like to see which ones, which one we can take out and which one we can't. And finally, the is the benefit of my material for my target audience, for my middle schoolers. It will be like it's colorful. Usually, when like kids go to school and they see just like a blank, like they just see a text like this, they're like, no, I don't want to do this, and like say school's boring. But if they come into class and see this, a colorful Jenga game. They will be more excited to participate in class. So, like, they will actually learn and be better at math. And that's basically it for everything I have today. I hope you liked my beautiful tower. And thank you.